Oops, sorry about that. Hi, everybody. This is Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations. Sorry, I was taking the iPad off the um, stand because it told me it was having problems connecting and it needed to retry. And I was taking it off the stand to um, go ahead and do that. And well, then you got my hand and we're here. So anyhow, hi, I'm so excited. Um, new catalog. Oh my goodness, such yummy goodness in here. Uh, my customers, you should have gotten your new catalog because I mailed it to you or because I have seen you. Um, so many things inside that are just wonderful 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 and I want to show you what I have what I got in my box my box of goodies so we're gonna wait just a couple minutes for people to, to come on I have to tell you I, I've said it before in another video I love the new in colors I just love the colors that we have um, look at this yellow look at that I love it so that the, the um, tabs are some of the new colors which are kind of nice but uh, I love it is anyone gonna come join me anyone gonna come join me today I want to go ahead and show you my order that I got I have some good stuff in here excellent hey Kelly all right so I'm glad to know that um, I'm good so I would like to start with a couple of stamp sets I am really excited about um, this one is called hi Barb this one's called artisan textures and I just love this for the background stamping and for um, the cute little splotch making love these mild water there okay so it's red rubber that's our cling mount and that is artisan textures I love that one I was really excited okay but my favorite my favorite favorite <gasps> look at this dream catcher set follow your dreams so when I make graduation cards we um, are one of our hostess set stamp sets last year you could build it to say follow your dreams and I would use the butterfly from watercolor wings but I am in love with dream catchers I crocheted one one time um, it's hanging in my daughter's room Barb you remember that love dream catchers so I'm really excited about this set really excited about it can't wait to make something with it and that again is also red rubber so that is going to stamp beautifully postcard pals look at them aren't they cute hey Andrea aren't they cute I cannot wait to sit down and color some of these I have a couple more things that I have to get done this week before I can start playing with some of this stuff but um aren't they cute postcard pals I just I love him I love the pelican I love the little fish in there so another pretty one dandelion wishes can you imagine stamping this in white um, on black and I just love this font isn't that pretty that's also a clear mount set so it's red rubber and it'll cling to our blocks so that is clear mount hey Diana all right what else do I have in this box I have oh, I'm sorry I did not show you I did not show you uh, follow your dreams comes with coordinating framelits let me find those real quick all right coordinating framelits let's see chase your dreams framelits so you have your dream catcher and we've got our framelits hey Amy all right look at that so we can even cut out our dream catcher isn't that pretty isn't that nice so um funny let me get it hold on I'll be right back I'll be real quick so Amy you and I were talking last night do you remember when we made this card do you remember when we made this Barb um, and Amy and uh, Diana I think you were there too with the our old doilies that were the whisper white on the one side and the very vanilla on the other well look does that look familiar we can totally cut out our own cut out the rings and make our three-dimensional dream catcher I'm really excited about this set really excited about it um, so I will be playing with that one with that one very soon okay so let me grab that pile I had grabbed again um we have treehouse adventure and i thought that was kind of cute so we've got the the treehouse and we can build it it's a photopolymer set so it's nice and clear so we'll be able to see through it nice set there all right and i think that'll be fun for those kid things um one for all i love this i wanted it for this because I am thinking that this is going to be making, well, I love sending hugs, but this is going to be really good for making cute little thank you note cards um, for those teacher gifts I get at the end of the year. But look at the size of that. 
that's going to go on a card front really nicely and then you really don't have to add anything else just add a, maybe a little bit of ribbon some embellishments um but just a nice simple nice simple thank you card so i like that or a nice simple happy birthday card i like that all right all right so one set that i had said i wasn't gonna get um and then Jen can go ahead and laugh at me later. Serene Garden. It is so not me, but I have seen so many beautiful things being made with this and the dies. So it's a photopolymer set. And it also has coordinating dies. And these, this die right here is an embossing die. So it's not going to cut. It's going to emboss. And that's what you're going to use our new embossing plate for. That's um, in the catalog. And it'll give you some nice texture. Let me find that embossing plate for you. Um, I have not gotten it yet. <clears throat> I um, I went for stamp sets um, and dies and paper in this um, order because I, I wanted play toys. <laughs> and, and I know the plate is a play toy too. What page is it on? What page? All right, I don't know. I'll find it and I'll post it. But anyway, we have a, um, a new embossing platform and it's going to work with these dies to make it so that it embosses the pattern on your paper. Uh, I got, oh, kindness and compassion. So I missed this the first time looking through the catalog and I'm glad I found it the second time. The the um, sentiments are serious condolences with heartfelt gratitude. We are sincerely grateful for your kindness and compassion. It's deeply appreciated and will always be remembered by our family. I mean, thank you for your kind expression of sympathy. This is just a beautiful, beautiful stamp set. Nice sentiments very very tender um okay i got the very vintage host set uh des if you're on here i know it's not me but i've seen some beautiful things done with it and i really want to work i really want to work with these two images so uh this set you can earn with a party of 100 or party or an order of 150 dollars or more and you can go ahead and earn that for free so that is one of our new host sets I'm trying not to throw the things on the on the floor under my feet so I don't trip over them like I've done before. Uh, what else do I have here? Um, another host set, hand delivered. Really cute. So you've got her skirt and her feet and then you have her arms here and she'll hold balloons or a cake or the books. Uh, but I like to the graduate. I just had one graduate from college this year. I'll have another one graduate from college next year and I always need a graduate statement. So even if I don't use the rest of it, I think it's totally worth it for the to the graduate um, sentiment. I'm actually going to put these down here. All right. A big thank you. Everyone needs more thank you stamps, right? So you are the best. I love it. Friends are the flowers in the garden of life. You got that one too? Yeah, it, real cute. Real cute, Amy. So big thank you. And that's photopolymer so we can see through it. All right. I had to get this. Boca dots. I can't wait to try it. Um, I okay. So here was my first thing when I opened it. Um, my thinking, I would have liked it to be a full background stamp of each one, uh, just to go ahead and you know get that look over the whole thing. But it'll be great on little pieces too. I can't wait to try it. So it's like a, it's that um, shoot, the um. That new process that, that oh, why can't I think of the name of it now? Uh, anyway, I, I'll stamp those up and, and show them to you soon. Um, this one, I don't know why I had to have it, but I did. All the good things. Look at that koi fish and the, um, hi, the bonsai tree. Isn't that pretty? Good fortune, success, prosperity, longevity, perseverance, ambition, and courage. Love the stamp set. All right. Friendly expressions. I like that. I like the the big word. I like the mixed font. I just thought it was it was nice. Um, it's a good size too. Look at those. So it's a good size for the front of a card. For a sentiment, you can still have a picture on there. And that one is red rubber. Let's see. <sighs> All right. Pop on by. So I thought this was really cute. Um, and it's great for housewarming, but really cute stamp set, right? Photopolymer. So you can stamp it out, but it has a coordinating die. Let me go ahead and open that. Look, so 
so you can make the pop-up house on the inside. Isn't that cute? And has all the score marks in it. So I can't wait to try that one. Can't wait, but I thought that would be really cute for a housewarming. All right, uh, stitched all around. I like the, the stamp set. It's red rubber. Okay, I really like that, but let me show you the framelits. Let me show you. Hold on, sorry, the paper stuck. Eek! All right. So the framelits have stitching. So we have this cross-stitch border. We have just a straight stitched border. So if you wanted to go ahead and make a rectangle that was stitched, even though our our, uh, our stitch shape framelits, we have squares, we have this edge. You can make a totally stitched edge on the bottom of a card. You can make a stitched circle, a couple different sizes that we don't have, a little stitched heart. And then we have these labels. And this is all stitching, and it will all go ahead and cut out. All right, and then we have the stamps that coordinate with the shapes, which is really nice. You can use them separately or you can use them together. So we'll move that aside. Healing Hugs. I like this. I like this rose. I can't wait to use it. Uh, but I really love sending you healing vibes, which will be good when we do our card swap. And it's like a get well theme. Uh, get well soon, which we really needed one of those. Uh, wishing you a quick and complete recovery. Uh, I actually have to make one of those cards now for a friend. But um, it's a clear amount set, set, so it is red, rub, red rubber as well. And I just really, really like that. All right, hold on, a couple more. Oh, hey, look at that. All right. I got birthday backgrounds. I thought that was kind of fun. All the confetti thought that was nice and that one is our, one of our clear mounts all right treat time so treat time in the um catalog they show hey des um they show um sour cream containers in the catalog and then using these little labels for that let me go ahead and throw that away all right and here are the dies so the dies this is the die that's going to cut out the sour cream container Okay, and this is going to cut the one side of it. You have the cute little scalloped edge. And then you have the tag size that will actually fit around all those sentiments. So that's really nice, too. All right, put that there. Oh, yes. I'm so excited. Wonderful moments. Beautiful You is my all-time favorite set. We've talked about that before. Um, this, just adding to it. Uh, fashionably late. Hope it was great. Dream come true for the bride. Congratulations and best wishes for a future filled with happiness. I just love, 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 love um, these ladies. So I'm really excited about the set. Really uh, looking forward to meeting your new little miracle. We just had a bunch of babies born at the uh, studio. I used the teddy bears. I could have used that, but um, that's okay. Uh, another one, little elephant. Isn't he cute? Oops. <laughs> yeah. Let me go ahead and move those. I just had an avalanche. Let me move these real quick. All right. Little elephant. So, uh, cute, cute stamp set for babies, kids, and it comes with a coordinating punch. Is which one clear, Des? Um, the ladies are clear. Wonderful moments are clear. Uh, little elephant is red rubber and works with the punch, and I like the cute little, the little plaid. Um, hello, little one. I just think it's really cute, but in my family, we like elephants, so these will be great for baby cards. And, you know, I now have that pile on the, the floor that fell over, so here we go. Um, okay, so I got Best Bunny. It comes with a coordinating punch to punch this guy out for whatever reason. As you guys have done before, I put in the wrong item number, so I just got... Yes, the ladies are cleared as... Um, so I just got the stamp set, and I'll be getting the punch later. But that's okay. I'm not using it right now, so I'm good. But isn't it cute? The little bunny, little bunny faces. So we can stamp the little bunny. Can you see that? We can stamp. We can stamp the bunny, and then we can go ahead and put the faces in. I like that hopping by just to say hi. That's really cute. Let me go ahead and get rid of that. Okay, hold on. I have couple more all right um gallery grunge yes gallery grunge had to have that 
had to love the wood floor um, and stylish Christmas. I really wanted to see what this looked like. So um, how to have that. I have a die sitting here and I honestly don't remember what stamp set it goes with. So give me a second to find it in the catalog. Happy birthday, hush, thank you. Dream, where did it come from? Because it'll tell me. Um, I like that it, it has um, everything listed at the bottom on what it what it goes with. But now I just have to find it real quick. It's never real quick while you're under pressure because you're on a live video or something. Um, thank you, Celine. It goes with a big thank you. So page 122. So if you wanted to get the the big thank you bundle that I just showed you, the die is thank you right there. Let me show you what that looks like. And that's a nice one for the center of a card. See, look at the size of that. Isn't that nice? It's a good size. So just glue that up, stick it in the center of a card, and you are good to go. So let me go ahead and move that down here. Okay. All right. I have... So we have a whole bunch of ribbon. whole bunch of ribbon. I love, love, love our new our ribbon for last year's in colors. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That's our ruffled ribbon. So there's lemon lime twist, tranquil tide, powder pink. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Um, fresh fig. And um, hi, berry burst. Aren't those nice? I can't wait to use some of that ribbon. I know Evelyn asked me the other day, yesterday, how, how it bowed. I haven't opened it yet, but I, I will check it out and see um, how it makes bows. All right, the other ribbon I got, I got the mini stripe ribbon, and it comes in Poppy Parade and Gorgeous Grape, and I can't remember this color, Bermuda Bay. Aren't those nice? All right, and then I have this ribbon, and this is the Textured Weave ribbon. Okay, and it comes in the gray granite and the granny apple green. And let me show you this card. I put it on with the granny apple green. I really like this ribbon. Can you see the texture in it? Isn't that pretty? I like that ribbon a lot. I'm hoping maybe they'll add more colors to that later. But I really, really like that ribbon. All right, um, I would like to show you some of the new embossing folders. So we have some new textured dynamic folders and regular embossing folders. All right. Yeah, Natalie, it is pretty. So this one is called Maps. All right. And I went ahead and embossed with them earlier. I had some Melon Mambo. Isn't that nice? And that's, that's going to go really nice with our Twinkle set for baby cards. But um, I really like the... Uh, the constellation look. So that is maps. All right, I'm actually going. Well, I'll show you this one now. So this one I saw and it intrigued me because when you want to go ahead and you want to make some uh, mass produce some holiday cards that are quick and simple. So it's got the wreath on it. So I went ahead and it's a textured impression. So it's a dynamic folder. I went ahead and embossed it on the old olive. But look, I just went ahead and made it a card. Took my piece of paper and just did the card front put a bow on it put some of our red um, rhinestones on it a little sentiment down here and boom you're done can you be any faster so love 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 that idea for a quick card and I didn't you don't have to do the card you can do another layer I love this you ready all right so this is called tufted gives you that nice diamond weave pattern but look look at that isn't that nice and if you wanted to you could put embellishments on top of the um, 
the joints here, but you don't have to because they have them finished off so nicely. But isn't that nice? I was excited about that one. I'm excited about all of them. I'm showing you this one last. All right, uh, this one is striped scallops. Okay, you can do it vertically or horizontally. It's six by six. All right, but look at that nice deep impression. It's kind of nice. I like that. I like the other side too. Quite honestly, when I pulled it out, I looked at the side and I was thinking, hmm, I kind of like that one. So either way, you know, emboss, deboss, up to you. Uh, okay, uh, we have this one's called Climbing Vine. Just nice, subtle vines. And look at it. Clearly for the camera, the Melon Mambo I chose to emboss was a good choice. Because it's showing up nice. All right. And again, you can do those either direction because it's your six by six. All right, lots of questions. Stampin' Up! has been asked the most questions about this embossing folder. Subtle dynamic, all right? And it's a textured impression folder. So with our dynamic folders, you can spritz your paper with water too and get a deeper impression. But this, I don't know if you can see it, is just a subtle pattern, all right? So if I show you my paper, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's just got a subtle texture. It almost looks like linen paper. So when we've used the um, old Stampin' Up! paper, I understand was textured, that was before my time. But this reminds me, ladies, when we've used the die cuts with the view paper way back when, and we, it had that linen texture, only it's nice and dense because it's Stampin' Up! paper. But it is just that mild texture. Isn't that nice? I like that. I know this one, I'm gonna use a lot. That I know. All right. So that is those. No keto geese. All right. So I showed you before. Yes, I know. Uh, Des, you, you're gonna need to come over. You can barely see it on camera because I can't get the right angle. But you, you need to come see it. You'll know what I'm talking about when you see it. Totally worth it. All right. In the catalog, and I'm so excited, we have in-color paper for all the color groups. I'm sorry. We have designer series paper for all the color groups, the new in-colors, and the 2017-19 in-colors. All right, so this is the one for the Subtles. This is the one for the Regals. Uh, this is the in-color. This is the neutrals and the brights. So I'm really excited about those papers again because uh, last year we didn't have the in-color paper, or I keep saying it wrong, we didn't have the designer series paper for all the colors, and at times it was hard. Like I wanted to use Marina Mist, and I had no paper that that coordinated. I mean, plenty that coordinated with Marina Mist, but none that that you know were like this that had based in Marina Mist. So I'm glad that these are back. Um. All right. So I wanted to see. Cause you know, I always do a Christmas in July thing. So to, to figure out my planning, I wanted to see the Christmas paper. And this is the Under the Mistletoe Designer Series paper. So let's look at that together. So we've got pine cones there and dots. Uh, yeah, it does all the des uh, Designer Series paper that goes with the sweet, I'm sorry, that goes with the color families are six by six so the patterns are six by six so that that's a great thing instead of those big pads all right so this one has the pine cones and then this green polka dot on the back i love the plaid the point set is i like this piece with the ornaments on it and then we've got the red and some more green plaid and some pattern And some bells and another plaid and the little deer like we had last year in our paper only this year they're green so and that's two of each sheet and that one again is called uh, under the mistletoe so at least now I've seen the Christmas paper and I can figure out how I want to do my Christmas in July thing that we all know I I always end up doing um, okay and the last thing that I have in here darling label punch box go ahead and open this box make a really nice gift. Hold on, I'll show you in a second. Let me get it open. Let 
All right, so this is a tin. All right, it's a nice size tin. Let me move some of this. Put some of this back. Put some of this back. All right. So we've got a nice size tin. We'll give it open. All right, and inside we have a punch, a stamp set that coordinates with the punch, two stampin' spots, and a block. So this is a nice set to give to somebody because they can just start making some tags, which is really cool. I really love this tin. Um, but the, the tags are the tags are great. So it says happy birthday friend, best wishes, congratulations, rock star, thinking of you, thanks, and they all work with that tag punch. So that's great because we always need tags for something, and it's great that they've included a block in here if you're just starting out and some stamping spots and it comes in this nice little tin so this makes a great gift all right so i'm going to put that down for a second and put this back all right so i actually wanted to show you so last month we did the um love with share which love bundle okay and a lot of you got the stamp set from me and i thank you very much for that and i just want to show you a couple cards that i've made with it and then we're going to make a card together so I posted this one up on my blog today, and I just, I really enjoyed it. Uh, Jen and I were talking about this wood background last night, and, and pinks. Um, I'm sad that pink pirouette's gone, not going to lie. But Blushing Bride is a close second. I, I don't, um, the new petal pink, while I like it, it's not pink enough for me. Uh, it's a little, um, it's a little more muted. So I guess Blushing Bride is going to be my new go-to pink since I can't use uh, pink pirouette. But anyway, so I made that one. And I made this, this one for a card swap. And I made this one for a card swap. And then I made this one as a thank you card. And this thank you card couldn't be any easier. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to make this one now. All right. Uh, the Love What You Do paper. I love this. I love the pearl effect with it. Um, I've already put my two pieces together because I wasn't thinking. Uh, this piece, the pattern paper is cut at two and a half by five and a quarter. And this piece over under here is cut at two by five and a quarter. All right. I have my stitched oval that we'll stamp on. And I have my, come here, where are you? There we go. And I have my I cut out the layering oval that coordinates with it, but we'll go ahead and stamp with that and then put that together. I have my card base. Hey, Susan. So I have my card base, which is a piece of eight and a half by 11, cut in half, scored at four and a quarter to make our base. And then I just have this cute little strip. It's three quarters of an inch of early espresso. I didn't have any ribbon. So I decided to do this and I thought it went really nicely. So we're going to go ahead and make this card real quick. Let me move these things over. I only need this right now. So like I said, I already put that together. I think the set stamps really, really well. I'm loving the flower. All right. I'm sorry. I've got two stamp sets stuck in here for when I teach classes. So I, let me keep using the one I've already used. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pull out my flowers. And I'm going to pull out my little piece. So you have this big water coloring piece. I don't know if you can see it. Can I turn this one on too? There we go. I have this big water coloring piece, and then I have this little water and coloring piece. And this is the one that I like to use. So let me go ahead and mount that. An A block there. Mount that on my H. Nope. Let's just do that. Okay. All good. Alrighty. I'm going to go ahead and use my early espresso for my stem. Let me ink that up. And I'm just going to lay it right in there. I'm stamping on my stamp and pierce mat to make sure that I get a good impression. Let's lay that down. Perfect. All right. And I'm going to use my 
Grapefruit Grove for the insides of my flowers. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and slide that in there. I'm gonna ink up this guy, okay? And I'm gonna use it full strength in the center and then stamped off to one side and the other. Whoops, come back. All right, so I'm gonna do it again in the center, stamped off. There we go. Just to make it look nice and mottled since it is watercolor. All right, there we go. That's it. That's all there was to, um, oh my goodness, hold on. There we go. That's all there was to that stamping. All right, get some snail. Attach this to this. Super quick card. Minimal stamping but it looks great. So like I said, I stamped th the thank you that was with this set right here. And I already stamped that in early espresso on my whisper white piece. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and attach that to my card base. And these are just some cards that you can whip up real quick that look like you spent a lot of time on them. They really do. But the, the color, the Grapefruit Grove, this is one of my favorite pieces of paper in that pack. All right, go ahead and lay this on here just so that it gives me a nice finished layer. All right, I'm gonna throw some dimensionals on the back of this guy. for. Alright. And just lay that on there like that. And bam. We have another thank you card done. Isn't that nice? You like that? I'm glad you like that, Natalie. I'm glad you like that. It's just, it's sweet, it's simple, um, and quick quick when you're making thank you cards and I make my customers thank you cards and I make my friends thank you cards and my daughter just graduated from college so uh, she needed thank you cards um, you know it's just nice and quick and this is an absolutely beautiful stamp set to make it out of if you have not gotten um, the love what you do set if you didn't take advantage of the bundle of May that's okay it is in the annual catalog and you can buy everything a la carte uh, let's see love what you do page 177 so here it is. You can buy everything a la carte. So this is the designer series paper that I use. Share what you love specialty series paper. It's a bigger pack. It's $27. It's a double pack. And this paper's thick. Like I said, it's thick and it's all pearly. Every sheet uh, is double sided. But it's all pearly, which is nice. But you can get um, all the pieces separate. You can get the ribbon. You can get the pearls. Um, the cardstock, the doilies. Uh, everything. But stamp set totally worth it so anyhow um, if nobody has any other questions I have the host code for June posted up at the top as always if you order from me and you use the host code I will go ahead and send you a gift with your homemade thank you card for being one of my wonderful customers um, please check out my videos I will be making more again I do apologize I had a um, not not the healthiest uh, April and May but I am on the men now so I will get back to making videos very, very soon, especially with this whole box of goodness. So thank you guys very much for coming in. Thank you for being one of my customers. And um, I enjoyed tonight. So thanks. This is Randy from Randy's Crafty Creations. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye-bye.